Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are going to start Intermediate Microeconomics Lecture 3. In the lecture first and second, we were discussing revealed preference theory and uh, it's the remaining portion of revealed preference theory. What are the axioms of relieved preference theory? Actually, uh, relieved preference theory has three main axioms. Uh, what are these three main axioms? Number first is strong axiom. Second, uh, first number first is weak axiom. Second is strong axiom. Number third is generalized axioms. And uh, what uh, are these three types of axioms? Actually, number one axiom that is weak axiom of leap preference theory. We have to keep in mind this thing that weak axiom of leave preference theory is also represented by this warp and what this uh, axiom represents let's see the definition this axiom actually state that given income and prices when the consumer what it means consumer know his income and the prices of the product and if one product or service is purchased instead of another mean particular product is purchased by the consumer then as consumers we will always make the same choices mean we are consistent on our purchase weak axiom states that if we buy one particular product then we will never buy a different product or brand unless it is cheaper offers increased convenience or of better quality or it provide more benefit as consumer we will buy what we prefer and our choices will be consistent remember it's mean what we buy we prefer and our choices are consistent this actually show v coxium what it's mean v coxium actually let's take the example if uh, 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 we show we are going to show the loyalty with the product and uh, uh, or it can be the chance that we are going to show the loyalty with the product or it can be the chance we are habitual of a particular for using a particular product or it can be uh, the case uh, that uh, we are unaware about uh, the substitute of a particular product let's say the example like this and you take the example of yourself you take the example of your house for example uh, you see the daily use of commodities like uh, uh, oil if uh, your uh, mother is always purchase some particular oil like uh, sofi or dalda and they always purchase it and from the years they are purchasing the same product which they are purchasing and they she say that she is satisfied on this product and she is not going to change the use of uh, another product and uh, or uh, you can take the example of tea or take the example of any cosmetic or take the example of any type of brand which you use and you are using it from the years to years and you are not going to change this product only because you are habitual of this product and you are not going to change this product However, in the market, the substitutes of this product are also available, but you are not preferring that product. For example, uh, you take the example of Coca-Cola and uh, if I like Coca-Cola, however, a cheaper product of uh, rel relevant to Coca-Cola are available in the market and uh, I can purchase another product which uh, is uh, having the less price but I am not purchasing that product because I say I am the habitual or, or like Coca-Cola and I am not going to purchase another product so it's uh, this purchasing pattern of myself are, uh, is going to present weak axiom weak axiom remember what is the weak axiom of leap preference one person know his income and prices if a person know his income and price win and he is going to purchase the same product 
same product however in the market and other products which is better in quality which is having more benefit which is cheaper is available in the market but consumer is not going to change his purchase consumer is loyal with the same product it means that consumer is having consistency into the purchase into the preferences of particular products this phenomena of the consumer this phenomena of the consumer represents the weak axiom second axiom is strong axiom of leave preference and uh, as spar sarp as a rp sarp and uh, this is presented by this sometimes abbreviatives can be used into a question and uh, what uh, this axiom represent this axioms actually state that in the world when there are only two goods from which to choose for example two dimensional world we say that we have only two options one from we have the option of only two commodities and uh, there is no, no third option is available and in this case when only two dimensional world is available two goods are available then the strong and b actions are shown to be equivalent and uh, third axiom is generalized axiom of leave preference gorp we can sorp and gorp what is show is show that this axiom covers the case when for a given level of income it's mean that consumer is well aware about his income and prices of the good we get the same level of benefits from more than one consumption bundle in another word this axiom accounts for when no unique bundle that maximizes utility exists mean there is no bundle more than of utility which is providing more level of satisfaction and more utility is available into the market and we are going to limitize our concept we are going to limitize our options it means that level of benefits from more than one consumption bundle and uh, axiom counts for no unique bundles that maximize the utility exist this phenomena phenomena is going to represent the generalized axiom of lived preference and uh, these three types of axioms of leave preference strong axiom of leave preference generalized axiom of leave preference and weak axiom of leave preference warp swap and gob are going to represent with the help of diagrammatically now we explain the concept of strong axiom and the weak axiom with the help of diagram let's see that uh, if q not is revealed to be preferred to q1 and uh, q1 which is revealed to be preferred to q2 and uh, so on if q2 is revealed to be preferred to qk uh, qk is assuming value and uh, qk must never be revealed to be preferred to q1 it's mean if q not is preferred on q1 and q1 is preferred on q2 so q2 must not be preferred on q not it show the behavior of transitivity as you have study it into the assumptions of leave revealed preference theory the behavior of transitivity and uh, this transitivity this transitivity behavior show that transitivity of lead preference showing the stronger but usual transitivity condition so we see before it uh, you must know uh, recall uh, the concept of cardinal approach in cardinal approach we say that uh, consumer possesses cardinal measurement of utility and uh, this utility is going to come possesses an indifference map and uh, similarly if we say that uh, 
when consumer is going to prefer q not on q1 and q1 on q2 and q2 on q and k similarly it is showing that the behavior of the consumer that consumer will possesses as indifference map you recall indifference map i have to show you indifference map like uh, this that what was indifference map for example we have the curve like this this is the curve and uh, we i have to show i see one i see one i see two and i see three this is actually in difference map is showing the different ic's and uh, this is the behavior with the consumer will show during the pattern of lead preference and this indifference map could be constructed with high degree of accuracy and uh, the uh, when consumer is inconsistent having the inconsistent actions mean it possesses an indifference map let's explain weak axiom in this diagram how we can present weak axiom and uh, strong axiom of the theory actually uh, for uh, we see here uh, 3.2 diagram for the two commodity case we assume that when prices are given by the lines like uh, p naught and uh, the consumer purchased when prices p naught consumer purchased commodity q naught and when price p1 consumer purchased quantity q1 in both cases you will see that q1 at p naught prices since p q1 lies below the line p naught giving him the choice this actually we this actually presents weak axiom it means p naught and uh, p naught q when price is p naught consumer is having q naught on the same axis and when price is while at p naught quantity q one lie below the price line while at price p1 price quantity q naught lies above the price line actually it show the weak axiom that at a particular price consumer is going on to purchase a specified product which for which the consumer is going to show the loyalty our preferences so uh, the weak axiom state that q naught must be unobtainable when consumer purchases q1 that is q naught q naught must lie above the line p1 now you see the figure into the a portion of 3.2 it is actually violated by the behavior shown in figure b where you see p1 lie above and q not lie below p not lie above and q not lie below the behavior in this behavior, uh, in this case we say that it is not possible to find convex indifference curve with the property that one curve is tangent to p not p not at q not this is p not and q not and others tangent to p1 at q1 so quantity and price p not p not and q not on the same curve and q not and p1 is on the same curve so this behavior is not showing the convex convexity of an indifference curve i show that consumer will preferred show the behavior of transitivity and uh, the consumer will always prefer that product which he was preferring from the starting from years to year as uh, we have discussed earlier 
that uh, we cause him show consumer is loyal with a particular product and uh, strong axiom represents when consumer is in between two situations or two actions so we explain it with the help of diagram hopefully you have understand this diagram and i have given the reference of this diagram and topic earlier you so if you have any kind of difficulty please describe your question into the comment box i will answer you as soon as possible inshallah please subscribe the channel so you can get upcoming lectures on your topic allah hafiz see you in the next lecture allah hafiz